Hey Pulse fans, welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. It's Caroline again, and it is that time again for PP wishlisting. So the theme of polish pickup this month was spring, so it was birds, bees, and butterflies, and it is going to be open March 5th to March 8th, so that is starting tomorrow. So on my wish list, I have 10 items that I was going to share with you, but as you can see, there are a lot more that will be available. If you're new to Polish Pickup, it is a Polish and Indie collaborative, so there are many, many, many makers that come and share polish as well as hand and nail products, top and base coats, bath and body, jewelry, accessories, wax, and more. So there is a lot to explore with each theme and a lot of beautiful, fun products. Let's go ahead and look at my wish list. I do have 10 items, like I said, and I have a couple of non-polish items. I have a wax and the KV Shimmer Nail Polish Thinner. We'll get to those here in a second, but let's just go in order of how they're in my wish list. The first one is a nail polish by Vanessa Molina, and it is called Vanessa Diaria, and it is inspired by a butterfly by that name. It is described as a ultra chrome chameleon purple pink golden green with scattered hollow pigment in it. Isn't that beautiful? Now what I love about this polish is it combines the colors that I am really into lately and that is of course the purples and oranges and you've got that beautiful multi-chrome effect and I really like the scattered hollow in this. That adds a little bit of depth to the nail and I really like how it turned out. Now, I want to say that I had seen, yes, a matte photo of it, and it is spectacular. This is really beautiful, and I think this is going to be another polish that is really nice for the fall, even though we're not even close to fall. <laughs> I'm already imagining my next fall rack, but look at those beautiful colors. That is a beautiful, beautiful pigment there. Absolutely stunning. So that was by Vanessa Molina, and that was Vanessa Di Aria. Now on to a non-polished item, that is the wax. This one is by Vapid Wax, which is the same maker that does Vapid nail polish. And this one is called Sandpiper. And it is inspired by beaches, butterflies, and balmy days, and is described as drifting across the salty sea air, you get hints of beach grass, musk, sandalwood with juicy plums, freshly picked violets, warm amber, bergamot, and a hint of vanilla. Now this scent definitely sounds right up my alley. I love scents that have violets in them and things with bergamot and the warm amber and sandalwood and musk especially, all of those have this very interesting depth, I feel. Now, of course, there are also those same uh, fragrance notes in scents that I really don't like. However, this also has the juicy plum and the vanilla. So I'm hoping that that will sort of land this scent in the middle ground of a little bit of, of that musk and um, masculine smell, if that makes any sense, and then the vanilla and the plums to sort of sweeten it, and then with that violet in it, I'm hoping that it's going to come out with a beautiful, well-rounded scent, but it sounds beautiful. So again, that was Sandpiper by Vapid Wax. The second non-polish item is the Restoration Drops Nail Polish Thinner by KB Shimmer. Nail polish over time does get thick, so this will restore the nail polish and help it not be so stringy and thick. So this is again by KB Shimmer, and it is the Restoration Drops Nail Polish Thinner. The next item is another nail polish. This one is from Tips Nail Polish, and it is Mazarin Blue, and it is inspired by the Mazarin Blue and it is a species of very small butterfly and are spread across their habitat in nine regional subspecies. Butterfly watchers find it specifically interesting when the grass fields and meadows seem to be studded with these tiny butterflies hanging around. It is described as a lilac crelly filled with two types of flakes, one shifting from blue to purple and another from pink to purple to lime green. Look at that. This reminds me a lot of one of my favorite nail polishes, Who is the Drizzle? I am totally blanking on who it is by, but it has this similar size of flaky in it that makes for a really beautiful look on the nail. It is a bit on the speckled side, but you still can see all of the lovely colors of 
all of those gorgeous, gorgeous flakies. And I love the combination. And of course, this particular shade of purple is really beautiful, that lilac tone of purple. And I don't have that many that are this brighter tone of purple. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, you'll hear me say that this tone of purple is definitely uh, one that I had wanted to expand in my collection. And I think I may have gotten a couple here and there, but it's still fairly small in my collection and I definitely do not have one with flakies in it like this. So this is definitely on my wish list. And again, that was by Tips Nail Polish Mazarin Blue. The next one is by Quixotic. This one is Glitterfly. This is so beautiful. Look at this. I love it when they put this little collection of pictures together so you can see all of the beautiful shifts of a polish. This one is described as a turquoise to purple to red multi-chrome filled with gold micro flakies. Look at that. I'm pretty sure there's got to be hollow in there as well, but that could just be those gold flakies in there that have that effect. I'm not sure, but it's really stunning. That shift is absolutely beautiful, and you know I love a blue and a purple polish, so this is right up my alley. Quixotic is another one of those brands that I really like, so I cannot wait to see this one in person, but just look at that. Here in this picture, you can see a little bit of that gold along the edge of the bottle. You've got all the different shades of blue and purple with a little bit of red and orange. Beautiful, look at that. Oh yeah, this one is so beautiful. So this one was Quixotic Glitter Fly. And it doesn't mention it in the description, but that one was inspired by those glitter butterflies that were popular in, oh, what was it, the 90s or the 2000s, early 2000s? So next on my wish list is from a Different Dimension, and this is Antisocial Butterfly. Love the name. This one is inspired by the beautiful Marpesia Butterfly, and it is described as a violet jelly polish loaded with orange to red to green aurora shimmers and holographic microflakes. This one is so beautiful. I love this sort of blurbly look that it's got going on, that violet base, and then you have all of those shimmers popping off. So you've got down here in the corner picture that warm orange, and then you've got that brighter yellow gold popping up at different angles. So beautiful. I love the contrast too of polishes that have the red and the purple going on. I find them to be very complementary of each other. And this one looks like it is going to glow in person. Really beautiful. Love the speckled look of the holographic microflakes as well. And I'm sure in real life that is going to really pop on the nail. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is stunning. Love that bottle shot up there. You can see that beautiful red glow. And then down here you can see the shift of that like green and teal up at the top. That's beautiful. So that was a Different Dimension Antisocial Butterfly. The next one is from Danglefoot and it is called Twitter Pated. And it is described as a green base with strong pink purple blue shift and an aqua magnetic shimmer based on the spring filled scene from Bambi. Look at that. Now I do have a lot of magnetic polishes and I find them very fun to play with, but I don't have a polish with this particular color combination. So I find it really interesting to find new combinations that makers have come up with in their magnetic polishes. And this one seems beautiful. This one I think is a really good shot. You can see that beautiful sort of teal magnetic pull and then all of the little flakies and glow particles in there. Really beautiful. I think this one is gonna be stunning in person and I love the combination of the blues and purples. Again, kind of a sucker for the blues and purples. I think that might be it unmagnetized so you can see more of the aqua particles. Those are probably the magnetic particles unpulled. And then when you pull them, then you can start to see the other items in the polish. So all of the shifting pink purple and other shimmers that she's got in there that start to show up when the magnetic pigment is pulled to the center of the nail. Really fun polish. So again, that was by Danglefoot called Twitter Pated. Next is one of my must haves for the month. This one is by Cuticula and it is called Dreams Take Flight. A, it's a beautiful name, I love that. Second, it's just a stunning, stunning polish and so unique. It is inspired by Red Spotted Purple Butterfly and it is described as a navy jelly base with orange to green shifting iridescent glitters, neon orange dots, neon yellow orange dots, and shifting ultra chrome flakies. 
This is such a unique polish. I don't think I've ever seen this color combination with those dot glitters in a navy base. And it's beautiful. If you haven't watched any of the live video applications of this from the swatchers, definitely go check those out. If you just search in the YouTube bar for Polish Pickup March 2021, you will find a, a handful of swatchers that have this. And this was so beautiful to see live in person. Well, as live as YouTube can be, but it was really, really spectacular in person. Like I said, I, I've never seen a polish like this. And what I really, really like is those little dot glitters in here just look like little glow particles in, in the polish. Really fun. Cannot wait to see this in person and definitely cannot wait to wear this one because this, oh yeah, look at that. That has all of the flakies in there. I'm not sure if that's going to come across. Look at how beautiful that is. That is so neat. I love that. That is just spectacular. Cannot say enough about it. So this one again was Cuticula Dreams Take Flight. And then another polish on my wish list is Beyond the Nail and this is called Anna's Hummingbird. This one is another beautiful polish by them. This is inspired by Anna's Hummingbird named after Anna Massena, Duchess of Rivoli. And it is described as a pale maroon base with a warm orange shimmer and green multi-chrome flakies. So one of the things that I've really been enjoying about this brand is lately they've been doing far away shots like this one. And I find that it's really interesting to get a better understanding about how the polish is actually going to look when you're wearing it. And I definitely think it'd be nice to have more of these on all of the brands across the board. We'll see if that catches on with more brands because I think that'd be a really good idea. The macro shots are fun and definitely helpful. I mean, you definitely need those, but I think that this far away beauty shot definitely shows off what the polish is going to look like on your hands. So really fun idea, just sort of a side note on the the way that they have been marketing their polish for polish pickup. But this is a beautiful, beautiful color. It is this, as they said, sort of a, a pale maroon base, which to my eyes is sort of on the deep fuchsia with a hint of a dusty nature to it. And then of course you've got those beautiful flakies in there, which are very interesting and a nice contrast. Cannot wait to see how those look in real life. And from far away, they are sort of this deep purple with that red glow. So very interesting. And I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection, so it should definitely be unique. So that again was Beyond the Nail, Anna's Hummingbird. And last on my wish list is Bee's Knees Lacquer, and it is called A Lion with a Thorn in Its Paw. And this is another must have. This one is inspired by Songbird from the Bioshock game, and it is described as a cornflower blue with an orange to gold to green shimmer and hollow flakies. Now, I have been eyeing the swatches of this on Facebook since the Maker Spoilers came out a few weeks ago, and this one is pretty spectacular. Every single picture that I see of it is really beautiful. So cannot wait to see this one in person. It's got that beautiful shift in it and that lovely glow from the shimmer. And then you have the really beautiful hollow flakies adding another layer of depth to the polish. Cornflower Blue is one of those shades that I really, really enjoy. So very excited to see this one in person. I think this is going to be another favorite for sure. So that one again was Bee's Knees Lacquer, a lion with a thorn in its paw. That is another beautiful shot there. That's stunning. So there you have it. That is my wish list for March 2021 of Polish Pickup. Let me know down below which polishes are on your wish list. And if you have any non polish items, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can see all of my other videos here on my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.